Hi, it's Katrina. From chambers beneath lavish temples to cursed islands with labyrinths, here are eight mysterious archaeological discoveries. Number 8. Pork Clock of Pompeii While excavating a Roman villa buried in ash in Pompeii, workers from the 18th century found a small lump of metal shaped like a cured ham hock. It turned out to be one of the world's oldest sundials that could be carried around, and it is now known as the Pork Clock. This whimsical piece of history was the pocket watch of its day. The object is just one of 25 other small sundials found in antiquity, making it extremely rare. Wesleyan University's Christopher Parslow, a professor of classical studies and Roman archaeology, decided to make a 3D reconstruction with a printer to be able to study it better. Made in just a few hours, it is much easier to look at without having to worry about damaging the original. On one side, it has a distorted grid used as the dial, and like the original, it has vertical lines that represent the months and horizontal lines that indicate the number of hours past sunrise or before sunset. The original clock was missing the part of the dial that casts a shadow, but the one that was lost was said to be in the shape of a pig's tail. To use this sundial to tell time, you would line up the tip of the pig's tail with the line that represents the given month. Then, counting the number of horizontal lines from the top of the dial to where the shadow falls, you could tell the hour. This pork clock was probably a status symbol more than anything. Back in the day, there were fixed sundials everywhere, but having one that you could carry around was unusual. But why is it in the shape of a prosciutto? Parslow isn't sure, but he notes that the pig is a symbol that represented living for the day. Kenneth Lepatin, curator of antiquities at the J. Paul Getty Museum, said that they had a good sense of humor back then, and the pork clock is a joke, meaning enjoy your life while you've got it because you're going to end up like a ham. Number 7. Crocodile Stone One of the most spectacular temples in the country of Laos is the Vat Phu Temple Complex. The impressive temple is associated in the minds of locals with the Hindu god Shiva, and there is a strange rock located there that some believe has a gruesome past. It's known as the Crocodile Stone for its uncanny resemblance to the animal, but some believe the imprint doesn't actually look like a crocodile, but is shaped to resemble the human body, giving rise to the belief that the stone was used for human sacrifices. There are other animal carvings at the temple, but this strange stone is the one that seems to garner the most attention. A local legend claims that once a year, the king of Chenla, what is now Cambodia, would sit on the main causeway at the temple complex where he would pray to the spirits of the mountains for their blessings. In return, he would make sacrifices to these gods for their protection, usually choosing two girls who were plied with rice wine before they were sacrificed. So, when the crocodile stone was discovered, people connected the item with the legend, and there may actually be some truth to the tale. Chinese texts written in the 6th century AD talk of sacrifices that took place there. Although they mention the top of Fu Kao Mountain as the site, rather than the crocodile stone specifically, local legend lives on to this day that the stone was used for these grisly rites. And now for number 6, but first it's shout out time! Ask and ye shall receive! Big thank you to Rohan Das and Poki Novakovic for subscribing and supporting Origins Explained! If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us! Number 6. Orca Geoglyph in Peru Archaeologists have rediscovered a giant geoglyph discovered in the remote Palpa region of southern Peru. It was lost for over 50 years until Johnny Isla, an archaeologist and the head of Peru's Ministry of Culture in the Ica province, recalled seeing the image in an archaeological catalog of geoglyphs. This was a few years earlier, but he made it his mission to find it. Setting out on foot with a little help from Google Earth, Isla searched far and wide, and even though the location and description in the original catalog were wrong, Isla found what he was looking for. It was a giant geoglyph of an orca. After restoring and analyzing the image, Isla and his team reported the glyph of the orca was 200 feet long and had symbols that indicate it could have had religious significance to whomever carved it. The large marine animal is considered a powerful semi-mythical creature, according to Peruvian lore. Geoglyphs are famous around the world, but the orca is special. Some parts of the image were created by stacking stones on top of one another, so when viewed from above, it really stands out from the hillside where it was found. This move points researchers to the glyph's origin possibly coming from the older Paracas culture instead of the Nazca culture, whose similar glyphs in a neighboring province are the subject of years of study. 
The fact that it is carved on a hillside facing the valley below is another piece of evidence that the Paracas culture created the glyph, indicating that the area was sacred to them. Number 5. Shipwreck Relics 200 years after sinking below the waves, an ancient shipwreck washed ashore, surprising beachgoers in Florida in 2018. Believed to date between the 1700s and 1800s, the ship is a holy grail of shipwrecks. Not only is it remarkably well-preserved, but it holds a time-worn secret in its waterlogged planks. When researchers at the St. Augustine Lighthouse Archaeological Maritime Program began inspecting the ship more closely, they found Roman numerals carved into the ribs of the 48-foot section of the ship's hull. It also had wooden pegs holding it together like nails. Since ships can drift hundreds of miles after they sink, researchers still need to uncover the final destination of the ship and whether it actually sank off the Florida coast, or if it was merely swept there by the tides after centuries on the ocean floor. Originally sheathed in copper, there were still a number of copper tack heads visible on the wreckage. Unfortunately, after being preserved in sand for so long, a storm is believed to have dislodged the ship, putting it at risk from the tide. As researchers set out to preserve what they could, they were able to take a number of photos so they could later create a 3D model of the hull before the historic ship of unknown origins could be studied before it was once again lost to the ocean. Number 4. Bla Jungfrun Island When you think of witchcraft, you might think of Salem, but a recent archaeological discovery on an island known as Bla Jungfrun in Sweden leaves researchers a little confused. The small island, measuring less than a mile long, is now a national park located in the Baltic Sea. Its environment seems quite inhospitable, with dense forests and large rocks, filled with mysterious caves and an ancient stone labyrinth. Archaeologists investigating the caves on Bla Jungfrun believe that strange rituals and performances dating back thousands of years might have taken place inside. The locals associate the island with dark curses and evil magic. The island of Bla Jungfrun, which is often translated as Blue Maiden, has a history of bad luck and a reputation for witchcraft, and even now, tourists who come to the island must not stray off the paths or stay after nightfall. Local legends documented in the 16th century reported that witches gather on the island on the day before Good Friday to worship the devil. Some say its blue granite is what gives it such an ominous appearance. Sailors feared going past, and those who believe in its dark aura leave clothing on the shores to appease the female supernatural beings said to haunt the place. While the legends and scary stories might vary, there may be a grain of truth, something that was passed down over generations that inspired fear. Archaeologists investigated the island for over a year and found two caves with parts hammered out by Stone Age people. This hollowed out area, or the process of making it, may have had ritualistic significance. Inside, they also found a fireplace and some tools. There may also be an altar to leave offerings, and there is a rock shelter in between two caves with more tools and ancient seal bones left behind. The mysterious ritualistic practices, along with the labyrinth, the caves, and the evil spirits who live there, make it a dark and evil place in Swedish folklore. But researchers believe there is much more to the island that they still haven't found, but it is not easily giving up its secrets. Number 3. Screws in Rocks in the 1990s, Russian scientists were investigating the Kaluga region after an asteroid strike occurred. What they found was quite unexpected. It appeared to be a screw fixed inside a rock that dates back 300 million years. So the question is, how did a screw get inside the rock? Many claim that it was proof of a highly advanced lost civilization, or even the work of aliens. The screw measures one inch and is said to have iron atoms that fused with the silicone atoms of the rock. After x-raying the rock, it seems like there is also another screw inside. However, the group responsible for the rock is the Kosmopoisk Group, aka Space Search, and the Russian Scientific Organization, which conducts expeditions to sites that are believed to have extraterrestrial activity or unusual creatures. They have a very mixed reputation. Another famous rock with a screw in it is the Lanzhou screw, which is believed to be similar to the one found in Russia. The pear-shaped stone is quite dark, and when it was cut open, it looked like there was a metal screw that was stuck inside. Again, rumors spread that it must be the remains of a mysterious civilization, or something from another planet. But is it actually a screw, or the remnants of an ancient sea creature? Some scientists who examined the photos of the screw believe it could actually be the fossilized remains of crinoids. 
They're a species of marine animal that was around 350 million years ago, which is pretty much the age of the rock. Scientists have also found many fossils of crinoids over the years and suggest the screw-like shape is actually the stalk, which also has that threaded shape embedded in the rock. To the untrained eye, it could look very much like a screw. What do you think? Was it some ancient alien race that misplaced a screw? Or the fossilized remains of an ancient sea lily? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Desert Camel Carvings Camels are pretty common in Saudi Arabian deserts, but 2,000-year-old life-size carvings of them? Not so much. In 2018, researchers who had been working in a remote part of northern Saudi Arabia uncovered a dozen reliefs and sculptures featuring both camels and donkeys carved into three rocky spurs, which are ridges extending from a hill or a mountain. Even though sand erosion had destroyed the sculpture somewhat, the carvings were still identifiable. Distinct from other carvings seen in the Saudi desert, the camels as well as the donkeys, mules, or horses are all shown unharnessed and grazing in a natural environment. One carving shows a camel meeting a donkey, which is not often seen in rock art in the area. With no tools or other artifacts found there, the mystery still remains as to who carved the animals and why. But with researchers believing the region was more of a rest point for caravans rather than an actual settlement, we may never know who felt so compelled to honor these animals with the stone carvings. Number 1. Padmanabha Swami Temple This temple has been a fascination for historians and treasure hunters alike. Many people, including locals in the surrounding area, believe the temple is not only the richest temple in the world, but is also the mother of supernatural sites. It's an ancient and sacred place with golden walls and rooms filled with legendary treasures. Gems, silver, diamonds, coins, crowns, thrones, impeccably crafted statues, trillions of dollars worth of valuables, and one enigmatic secret. Beneath the holy and divine abode are six mysterious chambers. They are just known by the first six letters of the alphabet, chambers A, B, C, D, E, and F. The story goes that in 2011, a retired IPS officer, Sundarajan, filed a petition to the Supreme Court to open the temple's unknown treasury. A seven-member association was appointed to look into the unaccounted wealth of the temple and make an official record of it. Five of the six vaults were opened, and the treasures inside shocked the world, with estimates of its value reaching one trillion dollars. But Vault B remains closed. Rumors swirl around the mystifying vault protected by two enormous cobras on the doors. Like most hidden treasure stories, the vault is not only off-limits, but many also believe it is cursed, and whoever goes into the inner sanctum will be severely punished. But how can anyone know the value of what lies in the vault if everyone is afraid to open it? if it's even real. Centuries ago, Maharajas performed special ceremonies where they weighed local princes approaching adulthood and then donated an equivalent amount of gold to the temple. Could all that gold still be hidden inside? When an audit was performed on the assets of the temple, it showed that a massive amount of gold pots and gold bars had gone missing from their repositories. With rumors of a secret tunnel that would allow someone to plunder the temple's riches and squirrel them away without being seen, some wonder whether the vault could be the final hiding place of the missing gold. Until the Supreme Court rules on whether the vault can be opened, and whether researchers can put the rumors of an ancient curse out of their minds long enough to find out, remains to be seen. Thanks for watching! Which discovery did you think was the most mysterious? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!